steel shoe, not a single drop of oil is coming out. But uh, it looks uh, to be in very good condition. I take out this uh, rewind a little so it's not uh, being uh, blocked by the poles inside the swing uh, the flywheel. Uh, that's why I take out this so it's not because now you need to take this off links. This is the clutch of course and the oil pump should be behind the clutch. So I need to take off the clutch. This is links. And when I turn on this it doesn't, uh, it's not b blocked by the rewind because if you turn this you can you can jam the rewind uh, uh, rope and then you can break the the poles, the start poles that going out and, and uh, uh, make a, a grip on the start wheel which you turn with the, the start rope yeah, uh, I need to remember it's linked, so dust plate links. The clutch, the drum, another dust plate. You see the marks of the clutch here, so you know how to put it back. Could be two ways, this way or this way, but you see the signs from the clutch, so you will know, you don't need to remember it. This is the drum. This is the bearing. Needle bearing, so the oil pump should be, aha, uh -huh. I maybe put the wrong, I put the wrong clutch on it, so it wouldn't run, the oil pump. I need this uh, drum to drive the oil pump. Aha! Uh -huh. I changed this yesterday because I need a 3.8. I didn't figure out what uh, sprocket this is. But now I understand. I need this uh, to drive the oil pump here. And this one don't have it and I can read on this 3.8 so I know what sprocket it is. I need a 3.8. I actually don't know what this sprocket is and it looks very well worn out but it will drive the oil pump. This little detail. So now no, I, know, I know what's wrong. I need a new of this. I will go search, try to find one. Yeah, I take a chance on that. What about the chainsaw? Is it working? Uh, so the battery went out. I'm not sure where. But as I can say, I uh, can um, say again, I have two saws now. I take off the sprocket and it shows up with the 
six uh, teeth to activate the, the oil uh, uh, here, the oil teeth, and this is uh, the sprocket which is worn out. I don't get it to fit to any chain. I guess it's because it's too uh, worn out. It's, uh, or there is a, a 325 chain which is so small that I, uh, it looks like 325 and there is a smaller version of 325 because this normal uh, ordinary 325 uh, doesn't uh, match the sprocket here but uh, and I found a sprocket which is matching but this is missing this uh, uh, tooth to activate the oil pump so there is no oiling on this saw, which I think is very good. I guess it's uh, perfect, uh, as far as I know. This has some issues, I don't know which. I don't remember. I have several of the saws. And what I want now is to try to change that... Uh, well, what uh, I don't know what to call it. A warm gear, warm gear maybe. So it fits to this warm gear on the sprocket for the steel 020. So I take off the bar plate first, I think it's a 25 sprocket. Now it talks, talks. Huh, it should it should go off now. As far as I know, it's been a little bit damaged over there, I can see. Aha! Uh -huh. There is put a bigger <laughs> Now I can see. I have put a bigger. My, my, my. There is problem everywhere. I have put an M10. It looks like an M10. For, and the normal is M8. I have changed that. So I have made a bar plate stock. Okie dokie. I don't need to take it off. I don't remember this. But there must have been a problem with the bar uh, stud here. But I see now there is an M10. This man is t 10 millimeter over here. Normally it's 8 millimeter. So I've been in progress to make a chainsaw out of this too. It's crazy passion. A uh, lot of time and work. And, but when you have time and you like it, then you do it. But it doesn't make that much sense because it takes uh, time and it takes attention. But I choose to, to do this a little. It's fascinating to, to be able to, to master some technical things and it's also... There is something about it to know and to feel and to see how they did things and how things operate and works. And it's a satisfaction to make it work as it's meant to work. And it's also a satisfaction to have a, a thing that is being used many, many years. And it still operates. That's also a satisfaction. Now I can see. There you have the oil mechanism, the oil pump. Oil pump probably is under here. But now I can see it. This is just to take it off. Wow. And that's what I'm doing. I'm using this. So, this will be better on this other chainsaw. Because here the, the stud is a normal M A M8. So, it was very quick to take it off. Hopefully it will fit good. Ah, there is some dirt and shit. Always so cool to have it off. To clean it a little. A clean saw to work with a clean saw that is Good. So, a little effort, and uh, this 
will be solved. Well, well, well. Looks perfect. Ah, well, this will be okay. I use the Torx, it looks like an embargo, but the Torx 25 works okay. It's functioning. Well, well, well. Then we have this. I need some grease. Then I found some grease for the needle bearing. A little touch of grease. And that needle bearing that's how we do it is that straight on yeah there was no dust uh, covered there as I remember or do I remember wrong no oh, fits perfect no there is no dust covered there well well I use which cut should I use now I might yeah. Now oh, this is fitting over there. Should I use this clutch? It looks a little bit stupid compared to the other one. This looks more easy to work with. Because there is a knot on the end, which makes it more comfortable to put together and to dis disassemble. piston blocker so I can tighten the clutch and as I remember it was a little bit different difficult to enter here on this chainsaw but
I'm very careful not to damage the threads. This I, I really don't know why it's so making me so much troubles now. I really don't understand. There. Finally. You can use a rope if you want. Two. So. And I take off the rewind a little. So it doesn't stop on the rewind but actually stops on the piston there is on the piston stopping the piston is reaching the piston stopper so now I tighten it not too much so so now the question is Will it oil? The saw is looking very promising, running very promising. So I guess it will, almost sure. Don't tighten the spark plug too much. There is on. Ah, moment of truth. Oiling good.